hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you guys how i made this beautiful frame it's called an acrylic picture frame enlargement so let's start this is the printed picture and this is the acrylic acrylic glass we'll still remove the paper We have our gum and we have our boat. This is the board. Today I'll be making a system by 20 inches. So the board is system by 20 inches, the acrylic is system by 20 inches, and the picture printed out is system by 20 inches. If you have been watching all my videos, you notice that this is how I normally start. I start off by rubbing the gum, or you can call it glue, whichever one you want to call it, on the on the board make sure you get all the parts of the board especially the edges the edges are very very important so if you, this is the first video you are seeing let me tell you how I open this gum the gum they call it a vostic glue it's yellow in color it dries very fast not like super glue it doesn't dry that fast like super glue but it dries very fast so as you're applying this glue you're supposed to stay where there is no fan and the breeze is not much when you buy it it comes in in a bottle like this you can just use a small nail and uh, open and make a hole on the on the cover on the cap of the gun so that's how you make it easy because if you use brush to spread the gum it will not be that smooth so this is the next stage I'm done with applying the glue on the board it's time to put the picture and before you use your piece of cloth to spread the picture very well make sure make sure that the picture has reached all the edges before spreading it here I'm cutting off the excesses from the paper so many people have been asking me on the comment section where can they print the pictures and most of my replies has been it depends on the state you are it depends on the country you are but the best way to get the location of this place is meet any photographer you know around you if you meet the photographer you ask them where do they enlarge their pictures any photographer you know any studio where they take pictures just go to them and ask the photographer to tell you the location the address of a place where they do where they do enlargement when he directs you to that place you can now ask them where you can buy the glass, where you can buy the board and everything. So they will direct you. This is the next stage. The next stage is to remove the paper that covers the acrylic glass. They use this brown paper to cover the front and the back. So you have to remove it to reveal the glass, the transparent glass. Some people call it plexiglass, but from where I buy, they call it acrylic. I've also seen people that call it plastic glass because this is not like the normal glass that you know, it's more of plastic. It's breakable, but it doesn't break easily like the normal glass. So, this is how I remove the paper. When I'm removing it, this slowly is because I normally make use of the paper you can see how it rolls on on the on the ruler that I use in remove the, removing the paper I normally use it to cover the frame when I'm done so it's more of recycling the paper than wasting it
then I'll do the same thing for the back. If this is your first time watching this video, kindly like the video and share to your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of videos here and answer and make sure I answer all the questions that you have. Don't forget to drop any question that you have or any observation on the comment section. Also, if you have a request on anything, you can ask me. Request of video that you want me to make. Maybe it's not clear enough or there is a part you want me to be specific about. Don't hesitate to drop the, the request on the comment section. So I've removed the both papers that covers the front and the back of the glass. You can see how shiny it is now. I'll be making use of my electric wash gun to gum the edges, to gum the glass to the board. But first of all, I'll be using my cutter to make make sure I make the edges very level and smooth you can see how I'm applying the glue to the edges this electric gun was Many people have asked me on the comment section where they can buy it and I've told them that where you can buy these people that mostly use this thing are tailoring people, people that sew clothes, they use it to put designs on their clothes like female clothes, they put all those flower or stones on the female dresses. So if you want to buy this, you can go to any market where they sell tailoring materials and ask them for wax you can tell them electric gun wax because they plug it to electricity before it can melt the candle look if you look at the two the electric gun wax you see something that is sticking out that is like white in color whitish in color that is called the candle wax so that's what the the electric gun was melts into gum. They sell it in Naira, about 4,000 Naira. It has two sizes. I think the smaller one is around 25 and the bigger one is 4,000 Naira. Well, I prefer that you buy this bigger one because it has a higher voltage it melts faster than the smaller one higher watts sorry not voltage for those that are asking me on the some of my videos how much does this cost like after making this how much can I sell it for I normally sell this size this is the 16 by 20 inches currently this the date the date of today is June um, June 2024 so currently I sell this one for 30,000 naira you know price price changes based on materials how much you are getting the materials and all that I used to sell it for 25,000 naira but the cost of things has increased so that's why we increased it from 25 to 27 <laughs>
when applying this glue make sure it's very smooth after applying it you can use the the mouth of the electric gun wax and melt it make it to be very smooth because if you don't make it to be smooth you will need to um, use the cutter to cut it off when applying gum so this is the next stage we are done with applying the glue and holding the glass to the board the next stage now is applying this um, the glue again once more to the edge tape this is called an edge tape it has many colors but I'm using white in this particular video it comes in black it comes in different colors any type of color that you want and as usual make sure the glue touches all the parts of the of the edge tape we'll be applying only to the back side the side that will be touching on the edges of the okay so after applying now you have to keep this one one side and now bring the frameless back again or apply the gum on that edge this is a very tricky aspect so you have to take it gently because if the glue touches the glass it might dull it it might spoil it so be very very careful while, while applying the glue on the edges <coughs> allow it to allow the glue to touch all the parts of the edge very well as you are doing it don't allow it to touch on the glass if it touches mistakenly just clean it maybe with a cloth very fast it's not time to divide the edge tape because the the thickness of the frameless the thickness of the board that we used is not up to one inch but the size of this edge tape is one inch that means i'll be dividing this into three i'm using my cutter this cutter really helps in separating and dividing the edge tape before I do make use of the scissors but that takes it takes time and sometimes the glue on the edge tape do gums on the <coughs> do gums on the scissors making it harder to cut cut it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share this video to your friends. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section. It's on time to bring back the frameless. You can start from any side, you can start from the up or sides when applying the or sticking the edge tape that has already been gummed to the edges of the frameless anywhere it finishes you can start off with another one not only printed pictures that you can do this way you can also make your artworks this way
Okay, I'm not making use of the back of a spoon. You can use anything you want, anything that is handy to make sure you press the edge tip to the to the frameless, the edge of the frameless. I'm making use of the you know a spoon you know spoon now the spoon that you're using it. I'm making use of the back side, the side that you hold while eating to apply pressure on the edge just to make sure that the edge tape is sticking very well to the edges while doing it you just try and be very careful those parts that is not gluing or sticking very well you can use your hammer or mallet to hit the edge tape So after this stage, you can see the excesses now. After this stage, is to use our cutter once more to cut off the the excess of the edge tips. As you can see how I'm doing it now. Just be careful so you don't cut the glass or cut more edge tape than you're supposed to. Just take it gently.
to have cut the SSDs from the back and also from the front. You see how beautiful it is now. It's not time to put a hook at the back because the owner might want to hang it on the wall. So I'll start off by bringing out the hook and the screw. Get our screwdriver and the measuring tape. We have to measure the full width in order to get the center of where we put the, the hook. This is a 16 by 20 inches, so it will be 16. I'll be putting it at the point of 8 inches. Now we are done. See how beautiful it is. Thank you for watching.